Hello all and welcome back. Recently I have been going around and doing a bunch of farms with my speed tune. This was because I want to provide the best content for you. And while I was doing those dungeons I realized that the speed set that I was using was on the most optimal. So I did some digging and found out that it is actually very easy to build a speed set in Dragonflight. So today I decided to show you how to build a speed set. Without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, I suggest only two classes for this. It's either Feral Druid or a Monk. If you are going to be a Monk, uh, use Gnomes because of the racial ability that removes snares. Uh, if you're going to use Druid, which is my personal favorite, on Alliance, you should go with Night Elves because of the following racials. Elusiveness, which increases speed by 5% when you're in Prowl. Touch of Elune, which increases your critical strike by 1%. And Quickness, which gives you an overall 2% speed increase. If you are playing Horde, you should definitely go with the Zandalari Troll because of the 5% flat speed increase. So, next on the list is Talents. I would definitely recommend using Tiger Dash and Stampeding Roar. Now, Let's talk about gear. The most important aspect of a speed set is the following four items. Heart of Azeroth. I'll put a link in the description section below so that you can find out how you can get this item. And the three slots, the headpiece, the shoulder piece, and the chest piece for your Azerite gear. We're interested in these three specific items. Flash Powder Hood, Gold Tasseled Epaulets, and Venture Corporation Vest. The reason for this is the following trait. Long Strider, which increases your movement speed by 58% of your second highest secondary stat. So for me, my secondary highest stat is Critical Strike. This was also the reason why the ratio of Night Elves was important. And basically by stacking up Critical Strike items on myself, thanks to these trades, I can gain a bunch of speed. So where to get these three items? The headpiece can be obtained from the last boss of the dungeon told the guard. And I should also note that you want to be doing these dungeons on normal difficulty because one of the things that Dragonflight did was actually scale up the normal drop. So if you go to Mythic, it's item level 159. If you go to Heroic, it's 157. But if you go to normal, it's 194, which is the highest uh, version of the item. Another good thing is, since these are normal dungeons, you can literally just keep doing it over and over and over again until you eventually get the items. The shoulder piece drops from the final boss in the dungeon freehold. There's a skip path for this dungeon. Check the link down in the description section below for the video. And finally, the chest piece can be obtained from the last boss in the dungeon mother load. Again, uh, this is a dungeon which you can just skip all the trash and go straight to the final boss. Now that we have established the Azerite gear, let us move on to the rest of the items. For your hand piece, waist piece, leg piece, and the wrist piece, you want to have the items called shade bound gauntlet, shade bound wrist, and so on. These following four items. The reason because is these are Shadowlands crafted items, and you can have whatever stats you want on them, which is critical strike on my case. And you can also have the secondary enchantment quip increases speed by 58. All of these items have the same property. Similarly, for the clock piece, you want to have, again, critical strike on it and uh, the speed enchantment, of course, like increases speed by 58. And the item is called Shadow Lace Cloak. The version I have equipped is 233. There is a better version of this item, which is item level 262. It has more stats and it gives you more speed, like 10 more speed. But the reason why I'm not equipping the thing that you see on the screen is because I could not find one with Critical Strike. And lastly, for the crafted items, you want the two crafted Shadowlands rings. Deadly Sinver ring, again, with the speed enchant and versatile Selenium ring. For the weapon, any weapon with Critical Strike on it should do. You can just go for uh, Dragonfly POEs, or if you have a better weapon than this, all the better for you. For the trinkets, any Dragonfly trinket with critical strike and speed on it should do. For example, this is a really nice trinket. It has critical strike and speed on it. But my second trinket, it has critical strike, but it does not have speed. Now, to understand the importance of critical strike, let me show you this. I have another trinket that's on the same item level, but it does not have critical strike, but it has 60 speed. If you look at the add-on here, it's called my key speed by the way it shows what percentage of base speed you are moving at so right now i'm at 176.7 percent and if i swap this trinket even though it has speed on it 
just because it doesn't have critical strike, it's actually a speed drop. I'm now at 175%. So critical strike is top priority. Speed is secondary. But if you can get something with both of them, that's brilliant. And lastly, I'm equipping low item level boots instead of Shadowlands crafted shade bound treads with critical strike on it, with speed on it. And you can put the new Dragonflight enchant planes around the breeze. But why, why am I not doing this? Look at the difference. I've actually lost DPS by doing that. This brings us to our next point, enchantments. So for the enchants on the speed piece, you want to use minor speed increase, which is an old enchant, but it gives you 10% flat speed increase, which is crazy. And this is the reason why we're using no item level fit piece. Next up, we have the rings. We just put critical strike on them. And of course, for the gem slot, use straddling viridium and straddling sage agate. For the weapon enchant, I go with wafting devotion, which is basically an enchant that has a certain chance of giving you 550 speed randomly for the wrists go with the dragonflight enchantment devotion of speed for the chest piece go with accelerated agility for the cloak go with homebound speed lastly you want to look at the following two consumables if you're doing some sort of farm where you have to kill mobs and constantly run around you should definitely use fried bonefish and you should definitely use this file it's amazing it gives you 743 speed and it only costs around 80 gold per piece. And it gives you this speed buff for half an hour. Let's look at our maximum speed now. So my regular moving speed is 176%. Now I use the file. Let's switch to feral form. So feral form just running around is 217%. And mind you that it could have been like even higher if I have a trinket with speed on it and... Um, a cloak 262 cloak with critical strike on it and leg piece with critical strike on it so there's still room for improvement light speed i am 410 percent i'm just like breezing through this you know and on the ground mounted up again 276 percent actually no if i mount up i move at 200 percent speed and that is fixed so even my regular feral form is faster than my mounted up form and of course the fastest you get is by using tiger dash it goes Brrr, is what i like to call it and stampeding roar so those are more than 250 percent speed increase lastly before i go i want to mention that there are actually some sort of other items like crafted boots or uh, some toys from Dartmoor Fair that, in, that helps you out with movement speed. But those are not like base movement speed upgrades, so I did not include them in this video. But just for you, I'm going to leave a link down in the description section below. So that's it. Take care. Before I go, I just wanted to mention that only a very small portion of my viewers have actually subscribed to the channel. If you want to see more Mythic Plus runs, more DPS guides, more gold farms, and pretty much anything World of Warcraft related, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you do. Thanks so much, and stay frosty.